Hey there and welcome to another GTA 5 car review. And today we're taking a short look at the Vapid minivan. This will be a quick look at the minivan. We'll start it up, show the engine, get an exhaust clip, take a look at the interior next to you, take it for a really quick test drive down the block and show some stuff on this vehicle. And I'm at Larry's RV Sales in Sandy Shores in the Grand Sonora Desert area. Currently the lot is empty, which is quite surprising. So let's go ahead and start up the Vapid. As I said, this is not a well. I have a, well, if I haven't mentioned it already, this isn't a previous vehicle of mine. This isn't a personal vehicle of mine, so therefore I can't show the I can't pop the hood or open the doors. Um, so I will just go over his data on that. I will probably have a more in-depth review of, this, of a minivan coming later. This one's white gloss, frameless windows, leather wrap steering with white contrast stitching. Power is routed through a five speed automatic transmission. Let's go ahead and turn on our lights and check out the rest of the vehicle. The minivan is by far one of the most fun vehicles to drive because it's very interesting with its way the transmission is designed, as well as the engine, the power output, all that stuff is pretty, pretty realistic with this vehicle. The vehicle is heavily designed to based on the early 2000s uh, Dodge Caravans, Chrysler Town and Countries. Um, I forgot the name for the Plymouth version, but it's based on that specific generation of caravans of that entire platform from the Chrysler group. However, it does have some slight cues from the Ford, um, Windstar, I believe was the name of the vehicle, um, with some other cues as well. The vehicle seats, uh, I believe, seats five instead of the usual six or seven, I like the real vehicle. Get quite a nice setup, nice shifting transmission. Under the hood of this vehicle is a 24 valve, uh, I believe, three liter V6. The wheel life variant was probably out 190 horsepower. So let's go ahead and get ourselves a quick sound clip of the vehicle. The interior of this vehicle is pretty nice. It's a little bit different from the truck interiors I've driven lately. The gauges are actually somewhat larger on the dashboard in this vehicle. If you want a better look, you can go check out my reviews on the Sand King Standard Wheelbase Extended Cab, the, Va the Vapid Bobcat 8.9 Extended Cab, Sand King, my red Sand King XL, uh, my yellow Sand King XL as well. You have five bucket seats that are all wrapped in leather. The front two buckets are wrapped in white contrast stitching while the back bench is not. For whatever reason, you have front hinge sedan style doors instead of the sliding doors of the wheel vans. For a quick look at the dash, you've got your air vents. You've got one on the driver's side, one on the passenger side, two in the center. You have your, air, you have your AC controls, the zones in the middle, fan speed on the right, and your temperatures on the left. You strangely have a four wheel drive dial, which uh, is not available on this van as it's only front wheel drive. You have a uh, cigar, a cigarette lighter uh, on the right, which is also doubles as a power outlet. For the gauge cluster, you have a tachometer on the right, speedometer on the left. So you have your fuel gauge as well as your uh, engine temperature gauge in the middle of the two. So let's go ahead and take it for a test drive. It's be pretty quick and to the point. I'm barely putting my foot down, and she's got some acceler acceleration to her for 190 horsepower. I'll really get on it on the return trip.
the left or the back to the new ship. Pretty impressive brakes as well. So let's go ahead and pull this one back into its normal parking spot. Ooh, we need to brush the rock. Alrighty. So that'll do it for this quick look. And the Vapid Minivan. Thank you guys so much for watching. Big thanks to Larry's RV Sales and Sandy, Sh Sun and Sandy Shores for letting us use their vehicle. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.